things to say that oh, hello everybody welcome to vlogmas day two well, welcome you guys so it is already one o'clock and this is because i have done nothing exciting this morning except today is bedding washing for the kids so they have Betty's bedding, which is basically like the sheets and comforter are all sewn together and it zips up. It's really cool. Um, but when you wash it, you have to like separate it into two pieces but for the big beds, for the full size beds, wash them one at a time. So each bed takes two, you know, washer loads. So I try to get it all done in one day. So I know, okay, all the kids bedding is done, but it is a lot of laundry. I did Lucy's, her bed is put together, so that's two washes, two dries. Nate's is in there now, his is finishing up. I've already got his bottom part done, he's doing the top. Then I washed Nate's weighted blanket, and Lucy has like a little throw that she sleeps with, so I wash that. Mark's is a twin size bed, so usually I can wash it together, but it's like six loads of bedding when I do this, and it just, you know, they're bulky, it takes a little bit to dry and all that, but it's totally worth it. We love Betty's. But anyway, that's what I've been doing all day. Mark's been helping me, my little three-year-old, when it's time to change, we go over there and he helps me move it over. And anyway, it's our big project of the day. I also got Vlogmas Day 1 edited. The editing process is something I usually really love and I do, like all my videos, I really like editing it. Um, there are some YouTubers who will hire editing out and I don't, I don't know that I'll ever be able to do that because I really enjoy the editing process and putting like the things I want in there and the music and all that. Um, so I had a lot of fun editing the vlog and I was having like some technical difficulties though with like my files. It just took me forever to edit that. I, for what, like at one point there was a file that went missing and I could see it but it wouldn't like show up on Final Cut. It was crazy. Anyway, I had to like rename the file, re-upload it, and then it worked. <laughs> there was like several things like that today that I was like, oh, technology. Um, but anyway, yesterday Lucy was sick, but she's back at school today. It was just a short-lived little tummy event. So that's great news. Uh, we've just been doing some stuff around the house. Laundry, I just cleaned up. Like I, I cleaned the house only about an hour yesterday, I showed you guys that really quick power hour. And the house just felt so nice that I'm really trying to keep up with it. So I've just been kind of straightening up a little bit more today, making sure, you know, all the morning time stuff got put away. Um, and that's really been it. So we are going to have a great day, though. My goal today is to get all the bedding done. That's my number one goal, because once you start that, you have to finish it by bedtime. I'm going to do Mark's bedding after he wakes up from quiet time. He's having like a little quiet time slash nap time. I also want to prep as many HelloFresh meals as I can. I've really been enjoying using HelloFresh as like a meal prep. And it's been working out great. Um, because a lot of times, especially this week, David has stuff at church. And then he gets home really late. And there's nothing made for him. Or we eat different things or whatever. And so to have like meals ready to go in the fridge that he can just warm up or take to lunch has been very awesome. So in a little while, I'm going to try my best. I don't know if I'll have time to prep all three, but at least a couple of them I'd like to get done today. So that's kind of what I've got going on. Tomorrow is David's day off. And so I'm hoping we can get out and do something fun. I would like to go Christmas shopping with him. We haven't been able to go together and look for the kids. And we will have Mark with us, but he's still little enough that we can hide stuff from him and stuff. Um, but I think it'll be fun to kind of get out tomorrow and do some stuff. But the last few days, we've just been at home because it's been really cold and dreary. And just, you know, we've had a lot of stuff going on at home. So that's kind of what we have going on today. Laundry, cooking, and YouTube. <laughs> So anyway, I am going to go do a little bit more work in my office while Mark's having a little quiet time. Keep an eye on the laundry. The big kids will be home soon. And then we need to practice spelling words and, and do all their homework and stuff. Um, for dinner tonight, we'll just have HelloFresh. So that'll be easy and that'll help me. I'll prep, I'll prep them and then we can choose which one we want to have. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do it. We'll see. If I make those, I'll let you guys know how they turn out. I've got a taco, pork and cashew taco, uh, Asian bowl one, and then I also have 
tortellini bake one. And I've had most of those and they're all really good. We love HelloFresh. This is not sponsored. They don't know who I am. Although I have, they, they sort of do because I have ordered from them for the last like six years, five or six years. We've gotten dozens and dozens and dozens of boxes from them. And I just love the quality of their food. And I will tell you guys, if you go back and watch some of the old vlogs or if you've been around us for a long time, back in the day before we had Mark, we ate out a lot. It was just convenient. We had little kids. I was so always so busy with them. Like, I don't know. We just ate out a lot. And we always have loved eating out. Like me and David just really like, you know, food. <laughs> we like to eat out. It's fun. But then we moved to Indiana. COVID hit. Did that reverse order. We had a baby, COVID hit, we moved, and we just stopped eating out. Like we very rarely eat out anymore. It's a huge treat if we do. And one of the reasons I attribute to that is we get HelloFresh and we get like that foodie, new kind of food feeling, but it's just food I make at home. And it saves us a lot of money and it's better food than you would get out because, you know, when you're going out to eat, you don't know what kind of ingredients they're using. You don't know how much butter they're putting, how much salt and all of that. So it's been really great for us and I have loved it. I've learned a lot of new recipes, new way of doing things just from using HelloFresh. So again, not sponsored, but I always have a link down below if you guys want um, to check it out. Pretty good discount code down there. But anyway, I will continue to love HelloFresh. And I know so many of you guys have tried it since I recommend it. And I get messages. It's probably the most common message I get is, oh my gosh, I tried HelloFresh and I love it. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to go do that. I'm really craving like another cup of coffee or maybe some hot chocolate. So maybe I'll do that. It's just like chill. It's chilly and all that. I really want to go to Starbucks, but maybe I can do that tomorrow when we're out shopping. I don't know. I'm just feeling like a hot coffee sounds really good. I also want to go back to Panera because I'm on the Sips Club because of their Black Friday sale. And I haven't been in the last couple days because we haven't left the house. So i got to get all the drinks in. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go do a little bit of work. I'll check up, check up with you guys. I keep saying that. I don't know where that came from. I will catch up with you guys when the kids get home. We'll see how they did. I'm hoping Lucy's feeling like her stomach is feeling a lot better, but her mouth was hurting the last couple days a pretty good amount. She's got an expander in her mouth, and we have to turn the little key every single day. It gets wider and wider, and she's just been hurting a lot, so I'm hoping she was able to eat her lunch. I packed her yogurt, mandarin oranges, uh, a banana, a cereal bar, <laughs> and some raspberries, like anything I could think of that was soft. Um, so she's been doing okay, but she's definitely not eating anything crunchy right now. So bless her heart. I feel for her. I feel for her. All right. I will see you guys back soon. here but I made all three meals so six serving meals 
It took me right at an hour. I did all of them like start, clean up, start the next one. I didn't like multitask or it would have been faster, but I just like to stay one at a time. Um, so you ready to do, she, she we just turned her mouth. How do you feel? Mark, geez Louise. So we're gonna, okay, go get the advent calendar. We're gonna do day two. Mark, can you find two? Help us find two, buddy. Where's the number two? Hold oh, up. it's a big one. Hold a heart. Okay, what does it sound like? Does it says take care of your skin. Take care of your skin. Ooh, oh, so my. some sort of face take cream the oil. or serum. We'll take see. The oil. Yeah, we're not taking that one yet. We already we just do one a day. Oh, makeup wipes. Yay. Sephora hydrating cleansing wipes for eight face and eyes. So pretty cool. Why? Pretty cool. Mark's like, okay, now the next one. No, we're not doing it anymore. We gotta wait till tomorrow. Apply. These we'll are... do the eye. Uh, no, we'll do this. This one right here. I was gonna say I thought they the were sensory, but I guess they're not. No, we'll do this. We'll Number this three. One. Oh, tomorrow is a small one. Must be something good. It's All right, I'm gonna go make myself like a hot chocolate or something. This is my reward, y'all, for for making it through all those meals. Although it wasn't that hard, Layla's hoping for I don't know what she's hoping for. Um, hot chocolate. I put a little bit of Cool Whip on here, and then I love this stuff, Jordan Skinny Sauce, the salted caramel, and then I also top with extra coarse kosher salt. This stuff is so good. I love to put this on desserts. It's like really chunky chunky salt and it's delicious so there is my salted caramel hot chocolate it's almost five o'clock so dinner will be coming in about an hour so this little little pick me up here okay so i got all of the laundry done i don't even know how many loads it ended up being so many <laughs> so many loads um i have one like last little uh blanket just almost dry it probably needs another like five minutes and then everybody will have clean bedding hallelujah um ever, all the kids have had baths so i'm gonna get a bath um and just soak for a little bit <sighs> i just had dinner so i had another cottage cheese thing <laughs> i made a little of fresh meals but i just wanted something a little lighter so i made a salad and I love all the G Hughes dressings and sauces. Like that's my new favorite obsession. And <clears throat> I had the honey Dijon dressing on my salad. And then I also had a little bit of cottage cheese with some turkey meatballs. And I drizzled the meatballs with a little bit of the stir fry sauce, which I love that stuff. I have, Anything I've ever tried from him has been good. I like the ketchup. I like the stir fry sauce. I like the Thai chili sauce. I like the honey mustard. And what's the other one I've tried? The stir fry sauce, honey mustard, ketchup. Is that it? Um, if you guys, I know we've had the barbecue sauce as well. It's just been a while. So if you know of a GQ sauce that you really like, let me know. Um, I know they have like a Chick-fil-A dupe. They have a like yum yum sauce. Those are a little bit higher in calories, which is fine, but I've, I've been just tasting the lighter ones. Um, I think some of them are more like keto friendly, like higher fat calories and low carb. I just think it's really great to have options because so many sauces are just loaded with sugar and it just makes you feel yucky, you know? So anyway, I am going to try to get this video uploaded tonight edited and uploaded tonight so that tomorrow David is off. We're going to go shopping. I think we're just going to do some fun stuff. And so I don't want to have to edit this tomorrow. So I think I'm going to just double up and get it done tonight, which I love having the freedom to do that. And then I can take the day off. Not really off because I'll still be vlogging. I'll still be momming. <laughs> but um, today was so great. Like I got so much done, even though we've just been at home prepping all those meals. So awesome. I don't know when it occurred to me just in the last like few months to start using HelloFresh as a meal prep, but it, it just works out so good. Like it, I love it as a meal prep because 
when I have meal prepped before, like you make something, there's like six or eight servings of it, and then you get sick of it before it's over. <laughs> like you make chili, if you make a chicken pot pie, if you make whatever, it's a lot. And then you just divide it up, you know. But with HelloFresh, you can have two portions and be done. And so I can order a box of three meals, six servings, and everything's different. And they reheat really well. I always also look for the HelloFresh meals. They have like a little time estimator on there. And I always look for the ones that are lower in time <laughs> because I just like easy stuff. And so any of the ones that say like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, those are the ones I look for. And then I could get like three meals done in an hour. And that includes cleaning everything up. So anyway, it is rainy and yucky here. So I'm going to take a nice hot bath and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, make sure you come back vlogmas day three. So thank you guys for being here. If you like the vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow.